Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com. On Wednesday, June the 27th, 2012, uh, it's a little before 11 o'clock uh, here on the Pacific Coast, and uh, this is your gold, silver, and spider forecast. Uh, gold is uh, still uh, uh, in a downtrend. Um, uh, we did have a little uptrend going here uh, that started uh, right around uh, the end of May here, and um, uh, but that's been broken now. Uh, we did make a lower low um, uh, four sessions ago, taking out the 153 mark here, uh, making a low of 121.21. Now we are coming up off of this lower trend line here, trying to build a little momentum to the upside here. Uh, got, a, got a little wave up here, not making much headway here. Volume has been very, very light, so not a lot of commitment to the upside. Uh, certainly more commitment uh, on the sell-offs here, as you can see the down volume here, these red bars here going uh, spiking way up on the downturn. So uh, very nervous uh, short-term investors in the gold markets. Uh, the GLD uh, is up 0.35% uh, uh, today as I speak. Uh, below some key moving average lines. This is the red line, the 21-day moving average below that. Uh, below this gray line, the 10-day moving average, which inc incidentally is now sloping down, crossing under the 21, not a great sign. Uh, looking at the 50-day moving average, this blue line here, pointing uh, down, drifting downwards, not a great sign. Uh, up here, the 100-day, this green dotted line, sloping downward also and here is the 200 day moving average rolling over sloping down so just not a lot of momentum uh, in the GLD uh, gold kind of just just grinding uh, uh, you know with a sideways to downward bias scrolling down here to our indicators this is the MACD this black line is a faster moving average crossing under the slower moving average a sign that momentum is to the downside here um, we have stochastics that have come down, touching the 20 mark here, uh, and now um, uh, getting a little bit of a bounce, it looks like. A lot of times that is your oversold indicator, and then um, uh, you know we start to move up from there. So that po possibly will get us a little momentum if traders start jumping on board. We'll have to see. Nothing really... Um, you know, uh, uh, causing traders to really, uh, uh, you know, jump in. And now moving on to a bigger picture of the GLD. Uh, this is a weekly chart, and you can see um, we are, on the longer term perspective, um, going back about a year, uh, we are in a downtrend here, uh, represented by these trend lines here on the outside. Now inside of that, on a more uh, micro level, we can see this sort of wedging formation that's happening. In other words, uh, the trading is getting tighter and tighter as we come into uh, what we call an inflection point, either breaking to the upside or downside. Uh, the momentum is clearly to the downside with this wedge, um, and uh, you can see that we are below these key moving averages, which are all kind of stacked up around the 160 level here. Um, <clears throat> here's your 10-week uh, here, the blue line. Uh, it's key that we get above that, and then if we can crack this upper trend line here, then we can start assaulting these uh, key moving averages here. Uh, in the best case scenario, I can see we're building some sort of a, a, a cup formation. Here's the left side of some sort of a cup. Um, we have this nice advance here to set up the cup and now uh, possibly building this here. So um, certainly a break down below the 148.53 level would not be great. Our next point of resistance would be this previous low here, 148.27. So gold uh, um, possibly building some sort of a base here that it can launch off of. And on the uh, monthly chart, um, this takes us all the way back uh, uh, on this uh, uh, screen here to uh, 2003. You can see this major advance that's uh, on the move here. And um, you can see right now that we are fighting a battle here at the 20-month moving average, a place uh, uh, of support uh, uh, in this uptrend here. You can see it uh, coming down here in uh, 07, getting near there. Uh, you can certainly see it down here in 05, back in 04. Um, it seems like every year or so it goes, it breached it here back in 08 during that big massive market sell-off. But it has been generally a point of, uh, of support here. Of course, we had a couple of great years here as gold uh, almost doubled here. Actually, it did uh, more than double off the bottom here. And uh, now we're coming back uh, to naturally come and test this um, uh, uh, line down here. So hoping uh, this holds in here. If not, our next stop will be down here uh, to the 40-month moving average at about 1340. But uh, so far, so good. 
and uh, um, just uh, pays to look at these longer term charts here to, to, uh, to uh, you know, get a little different perspective. So just to recap, gold is trending lower for now, possibly building a base that it could launch off of, uh, so far getting support here at the key 20-month moving average. Moving on to silver now, this is the SLV, the silver uh, ETF, um, down about a half a percent uh, today. Um, you know, kind of drifting along a bottom here. Uh, I did draw a trend line along these lows here. Um, we did take out the 25.99 here, uh, put in the 25.80 here four sessions ago. Uh, don't like breaking those, but uh, so far holding up here. Um, drifting sideways in light volume. Um, much like the GLD, we are underneath the 21-day moving average. We are underneath the 10-day moving average, this, this gray line here. And we do have a falling wedge pattern here. Um, like in the GLD, um, also like in the GLD, we have the 50-day uh, moving average heading lower as well as the 100 as well as the 200. Uh, even the 21-day is heading lower. They're all heading lower. Um, so we are fighting a battle down here at these lows currently. Um, certainly we had uh, uh, big volume uh, on the drops, light volume on any kind of attempted rally here. So um, silver uh, uh, downward bias. Um, fighting a battle here to hold on to these lows. And moving on out to a weekly chart of the SLV, flat on the week, no gain, no loss here, tight closes. That shows that big money is stepping in and supporting uh, uh, the SLV at this level, fighting a battle along the lows here. And uh, you can see that we did make a 25.65 low here at the end of last year. And um, we're down in that in that area here, so um, uh, the people that want uh, to support silver are stepping up and uh, and fighting a battle here. Uh, notice these tight closes here. Uh, that shows institutional support as well. Um, we did break uh, uh, last week though, uh, dropping down here, and now fighting a battle below this uh, uh, red line here, which is the four-week moving average. Uh, you notice that the ten-week, the blue line is headed down as well as all these other uh, slower-term moving averages. So. Uh, silver downward bias, fighting a battle along the, the previous lows here. Uh, nothing to get excited about yet. Possibly like the goal, building a cup-shaped base, uh, left side of the cup, too early to tell, uh, so it can start launching and, and climbing up the right side. So um, no reason to be long here on uh, silver. Um, if you're a bottom fisher, you might want to take a look at how it reacts off of these lows. And uh, moving now to a monthly chart of silver, taking us back to 03. You can see this massive run uh, in the $5 range here back in 03, all the way up to 50 bucks almost. That's a tenfold move, huge move in silver. Um, certainly the run from the lows, uh, the 08 lows on up was a massive, massive run, bringing a lot of attention into silver. Now we're giving back some. As markets always do, you know, 50% retracements are not unusual. You can see the battle we're fighting here. We are back down at these lows here, 26.15 in uh, in uh, um, uh, uh, April of uh, last year, and uh, tapping it uh, now for the fourth time. So this is a major, major uh, area uh, to do battle between the longs and the shorts here. Uh, we do have support uh, uh, that is uh, here at this black dotted line, the 40-month moving average coming in at 25.36. So uh, the battle line is being drawn right now. We are tapping up against it. Uh, keep an eye on silver. Moving on now to stocks. This is the NASDAQ composite up about half a percent right now. And uh, we have a wedging pattern here um, uh, taking shape. And uh, we are still below the 50-day moving average, this blue line here. Got above it here just briefly and then crashed right through it, uh, uh, taking this, uh, uh, putting this uh, rally uh, under pressure. And uh, we did confirm uh, last, I think it was Thursday or Friday here, uh, had a nice move to the upside uh, <clears throat> on, a, on a pickup in volume, which confirmed a rally, but uh, now under pressure. Um, if we take out this previous low, uh, 2802.38, uh, um, we will be uh, back in a uh, downturn here. But so far, trying to hang on to this rally here, uh, just barely, and coming into a wedging formation again. Um, uh, certainly getting above uh, this uh, key 50-day moving average would be a great sign. And certainly breaking above this upper trend line would be also great. That would put us uh, in prime uh, shape to take out 
uh, to this uh, uh, 200 day moving average to the upside. I'm sorry, 100 day moving average to the upside. So, um, <clears throat> so far, light volume here um, uh, did uh, reclaim this 21 day moving average and uh, so far support uh, building uh, uh, in, in the bottom side of this uh, triangle wedge shape formation. So let's see what happens with the NASDAQ. Possibly we go back uh, into a, uh, a nice uh, posture to uh, start moving higher. So just to recap, gold and silver both in downtrends, both fighting a battle along some previous lows. Stocks looking a little bit better uh, than, than the precious metals uh, as uh, uh, we try to uh, reclaim some of these moving averages here. So thanks for listening and good luck trading everybody.